Sometimes I'm able to fool myself that maybe this won't get bad and we'll be able to go on as normal. And then reality comes along and smacks me in the face. The Ninth Circuit uh, Court has handed down a doozy of a ruling. Our favorite court in the land is at it once again. Uh, and this one revolves around your right to carry. So basically what's happened here, and, and I'm reading some of this off my phone here from the Firearms Policy Coalition, support them if you don't, uh, is that in 2011, George Young had submitted two applications for an open carry license. And they were denied because he didn't, uh, he wasn't able to provide a sufficient reason, right? So Hawaii has a good reason clause in, in their permit process, which means, you know, you need to be able to show a good reason for why you need a permit. So he sued because uh, his reason was, I want to, and this is America, which are good reasons. And, and of course, now it's, it's finally getting to court. So this has gone to the Ninth Circuit Court now twice, and this is before an 11 judge panel. And basically they ruled against him, okay? But here's the super interesting part about how they ruled against him. The court determined that because history demonstrates a long-standing tradition in English and American law of government prohibiting certain weapons from entering public spaces as means of providing domestic tranquility and forestalling domestic violence, there is no right to carry arms openly in public. There is no right to carry arms openly in public. Now that's extremely interesting, isn't it? Uh, what they've essentially done is stripped out the right to keep and bear arms. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of the free state, the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's the Second Amendment. It's in the Constitution, which is supposed to be the highest law in our land. The right to keep and bear. Now, I don't know what bear could possibly mean there, aside from to carry about one's person. That would, that would be what the meaning of the word is. So, and they're saying you have no right to openly bear arms in public. Now, I don't, I don't know how you would square that with the Constitution. Obviously, they don't. They sidestep it. They go on about American law tradition and English law tradition and all these other things without actually looking at the current law on the books in America, which is the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is obviously disappointing, this is obviously frustrating, but at this point, what else do you expect, really? Uh, the, the Boulder, Colorado shooting just happened yesterday, and of course, everybody's clamoring for gun control already because, you know, why not? And now with, with the Democrats in control of the House and, and the Senate and the White House, um, where, where do you think this is gonna go? It's only gonna get worse. So I apologize that this is not an uplifting video, However, again, this just gets us one step closer to is this nation sustainable anymore and what are we going to do about it? To me, the interesting part about this whole deal is this is another uh, check in the column of they will never stop coming for your rights. Uh, there, there's, there's at no point are they going to be like, well, I guess we can just leave people alone and let them live their lives and let them have their rights. That's just not an option. And so they're going to continue to come and come and come for your rights. And at this point, you just need to decide what you're going to do about that. Uh, they're going to continue to make choices for you and tell you what you do and don't need and don't deserve. And they're going to even lie to your face about what rights you have. We have clearly enumerated rights in the Constitution. And they're just going to say, yeah, you know that part where it says to keep and bear arms? Well, that's not what bear means there. It's a scary time to be alive. Do brave deeds and endure.